Following the killing of at least 66 people in the border area between Baringo and Turkana this week, two parliamentary committees are now considering a law to make cattle rustling a capital offence. And as the Senate and National Assembly members of the National Cohesion Committee spoke, the Deputy President William Ruto also revealed in West Pokot today that the government is seeking a permanent solution to the frequent cattle raids and killings between the northern Kenya communities. Francis Ontomwa has the details. The arrival of the Deputy President in the Wall Street and North Rift was ecstatic. Perhaps a people's way of showing the eagerness to hear what the country's second most powerful man had under his sleeves following this week's spate of killings in the Baringo Trukana border area. But as it will turn out, the speech will follow an old familiar script. Hai usaidi, hai badilishi dunia yako, inaharibu dunia ya Kenya. Tunataka sisi wote tushirikiana. Na mimi najua wananchi wote wa Kenya, wapokotu, wa Turkana, wa Samburu na wa Kenya wote, wanataka amani katika taifa yao. The DP was to outline the government's key considerations on ending the storm in the long run. Ile mipango tumepanga ya kuweka stima semu hii, kuweka lami, kuweka maji, mashule, ni ili tuwakikisha ya kwamba semu hii inabadilika, watu wanaondoa mafikira ya kuua wenzao na kuiba mali ya wenzao, tuwe na mafikira ya kujenga semu hii na kujenga Kenya. The local leadership was to weigh in on the matter, albeit carefully with unity call dominating West Pokot Governor Simon Kachapin's address to the people. However, as Ruto was touring the Wall Street and Zone, members of a joint committee on national cohesion from both the Senate and National Assembly were in Mombasa, deliberating on the cut of wrestling menace as they met the National Cohesion and Integration Commission. They now agree on the need to amend the law and make cut of wrestling a capital offense. The first thing, this committee will be presenting amendments to both the Senate and the National Assembly for us to discuss to criminalize cut of wrestling because people have taken advantage of what they call a cultural activity and has turned into a purely commercial activity with barons, with cartels, and a lot, a lot of the meat that you're seeing in our butcher is a, the result of cattle rustling. So we cannot call it cattle rustling when people are killed. And I join Chairman Sakaja, Sakaja in calling upon the leadership of those two counties or three counties, whatever they are, please, please, mind the welfare of the people you purport to lead. You must lead the living, not the dead. Ending the perennial cattle rustling menace is proving a serious headache for the government. And with a plan now to criminalize the cultural practice, perhaps this could play a first step in finding a lasting solution for the menace. Francis Ontomwa, KTN, Mombasa.